All right, everybody. 1999. Matrix just came out. Family Guy just aired for the first time. Bill Clinton's going through some pretty funky things at the moment. Now we got September. Second thought, let's not finish this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to September 1999. This is a game that was suggested by Ash T, and I know nothing about it as per use, except I'm assuming, just like it says on the bottom left there, this takes place September 18th, 1999. If the screen looks super blurry and fuzzy, that's because it is. Trust me, I have this set on as high of settings as it could possibly go. It's just the VHS monitor. I like this cheetah print blanket. <laughs> I gotta find out how to get that. Old school radio, mattress on the floor. I used to get shit on all the time for having my mattress on the floor. Now that I have a fiance, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I do not know pretty much anything else about this game. I'm assuming it's kind of like a cooking simulator, kind of like cooking mama. Do you just walk into stuff to interact with it or? Hello? I gotta get to my cooking simulating job. Oh, it's 1.15. So the time go backwards? It was 3 o'clock, right? Somebody's knocking, but... I'm gonna do what every single uh, smart person in a horror movie should do. Just head on back to bed. My lamp's trying to communicate with me in Morse code. Get to work, you lazy bum. What the heck? September 21st. Okay, so now it's later. I, don't, I didn't even notice the day. Why are the police outside? Hello? So everything is time sensitive. Somebody's knocking. I tried answering the door, but it's not letting me. I would love to let you in, but I don't even think I can interact with anything. I can go to my room, though. Oh, now it's dark, dark in here. Oh. Hello? <sighs> Somebody's got a bag of clothing on the bed. Messy person. Messy, messy person. Look, I tried letting you in. I don't even know why you're here. Or is this the... Yes, I think this is a time-sensitive game. <laughs> Traveling back time. Somebody's crying. What the? F They're in here. And I can't open up that door. But I bet I can go into the bedroom. Oh my gosh. Blood splatter. Oh no. I'd make a menstrual cycle joke, but... There it is. <laughs> wow! You really... Ooh, Picasso, I like it. Plastic everywhere, this was premeditated. I wonder who it was. Very interesting story. I'm wondering... What the chain of events is, because... Pretty sure we're going forward in time, at least. 30th of September. If we go any further than this, it's not even going to be September anymore. The game's going to be lying. <laughs> Got a chainsaw. What? There's no way. <laughs> that was the whole game. Hold on one second. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so apparently, yeah, that was the whole game. I thought there would at least be, like, a jump scare in it. Although I know a lot of people would say that jump scares aren't necessary to make a game scary and or and or good. 
However, seven minutes to play that. I think it took me less because I had to restart it because the game froze up. So yeah, uh, that was an interesting choice. I got to say it was very quick. So I'm going to post this episode most likely the same day that I post uh, Nightmare of Decay. So that's very interesting. Like I said, it was short though, and it's free. So you can't complain about that. Very interesting though. I'm wondering what the story is supposed to be. Why the camera guy's on the floor. I mean, if the dates take place like how it shows, and somebody was crying in the other room, it seems like maybe it was a roommate, so maybe it was like, I have no idea. Like, it's your roommate or your family member or something that's like killing people, and you're kind of just letting them do it? I don't know. But yeah, very interesting. And I like the whole VHS horror aesthetic. I kind of wish that there was more that you could do than just literally walk around. Like, you can't even interact with anything. Like, you just walk into the door to open the door. Uh, it was very creepy, making you think something was going to happen the whole time. Uh, pretty confident I was late for work for my cooking sim. But, yeah. If you guys have any other suggestions that you for games that you'd like to watch me play, make sure you leave them down in the comments. I'll make sure to get around to them whenever I get the chance to. Um, can't guarantee what, what the time frame would be. Uh, usually I schedule my games ahead of time. But, whenever I get the chance, I will get to them. As always, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I will see you guys in that next episode. And as always, have a good one. See you then. Goodbye!